Well, I have had quite a few videos planned up recently and some of them have either deleted themselves, when I recorded them they were just crap quality, or I didn't like them after I'd recorded them and spent all my time editing them. Typical. So today's video is pretty much just going to be an updated my everyday makeup routine because um, more or less every day I have work or college so I get to glam my makeup a bit more than I would if I was just around the house. So this is the look that I am going for. I have my nude lips, basic eyes, no longer the big dramatic flicks and all that and yes my eyelashes are my own. A lot of people have been saying, why do you have false lashes on? Why? Are you using that unique mascara stuff? Like, no, I don't. No, I just use Rimmel. So this is pretty much it. And if you want to know where this dress is from, because yes, it's a dress and it's a straight down dress and it's got pockets. Um, this is from Dorothy Perkins, surprise, surprise, because yes, I do work there. <laughs> So if you want to know how to achieve this makeup look, then keep watching and I'll see you at the end of the video. So starting off with a washed face, I have moisturised and now I'm going to put my foundation on. It is the Rimmel 25 hour stay I believe and it's in the shade Ivory and it's my favourite at the moment. They range from about £4 to £7, I suppose it depends where you really get it. But using my um, Real Techniques Expert Face Brush, I am just swizzling. <laughs> I'm just sort of like circling that onto my face, making sure it covers everything. Oh yeah. And it actually does take me a while to put foundation on, I have realised. Hmm. And we're done. Now I'm going to put my collection 2000. <laughs> I'm going to put my concealer on. And I pretty much just put this under my eyes and on all of my spots because, you know, I would like to cover them all. If I could, I would get rid of them all, but that seems impossible. So I suppose I can just cover them. And using my Real Techniques brush, I'm just going to blend that in to the skin. So yeah. And onto my bronzer because everyone loves a good bronzer. And I'm just using the contour brush from Real Techniques and just putting that along my cheekbones and my jawbone and along my temple. I think it's a temple. But yeah, and pretty much I just like this because it just defines a bit more instead of making my face look all round. That damn piece of hair always falls out. I really hate growing out fringes. Mm. And we're on to blusher. I am using my trusty MUA English Rose blusher, which is running out drastically, but you know, I do like to use it until it's absolutely gone. And using the contour brush again, because I don't know where my blusher brush has gone, I'm just swirling that onto my cheeks, the apples of my cheeks. And sometimes I like to use the lilac-y colour, and it's like a pearly colour next to the lilac. I like to use that as a highlight, because it's just nice. So I like to use that as a highlight. Make it look alive. And now we're on to the Revolution Brow and Fix palette thing. And I like to obviously go for a bit of a chunkier brow at the moment because I do have quite chunky brows anyway. So why not define those brows? Um, I'm just using the Real Techniques brow. I think it's a brow brush. I like to use it as a brow brush. <laughs> but I am just going to be colouring in my brows. It's fun. Really. Oh, such difference. I think you can get these from about from Superdrug for about 350 maybe, and it comes with like one of them gel things to set your brows in place, which is a lot of help. And next onto the eyes, I am just using a white MUA um, eye pencil thing, and I like to do my waterline and tight line. Oh, that flicker is nice. 
and it pretty much widens your eyes, makes your eyes look a little bit whiter and I think it just makes my eyes look a lot larger instead of them being really small and mmm, small eyes. It just makes them look a bit larger and it was only a pound from Superdrug so everyone wins. <laughs> and next using my Naked 2 palette which I love and cherish and love I am just going to be using a Real Techniques eyeshadow brush and using the colours Booty Call and I forgot what the brown one's called my finger's covering it too thanks finger and I'm just going to be doing the lid in the booty call colour but right now I've decided to do my brow bone and we're doing the brow bone in the colour foxy because it just lightens underneath your brow bone a little bit more and it just looks a lot lifted it's helpful it makes a small difference so you know back to doing my eyelids um yeah booty call on the eyelids because it's a nice pinky pearly colour perfect for everyday use and then using my brown one for my crease is it called the crease because at the moment I love using browns for my crease because it just makes your eyes look a bit more oomph should we say oomph yeah and using a tinier brush from Real Techniques I'm not sure what it was originally for but I like to use a black eyeshadow and just line the underneath of my eyes with it and just line the underneath of my eyes with it and yeah it just makes my eyes look a little bit bigger because make, not only does the white eyeliner make them look bigger but then underlining them in black I just think it makes my eyes really pop and I do love my eyes popping funny story that's an all access areas thing for Moto Academy yeah stuck it on there don't know why And sometimes instead of using an eyeliner, I just use the eyeshadow as an eyeliner because if you're just going to be doing an everyday use, I don't like to absolutely pile it on, but it just makes my eyes pop. And now using my all-time favourite mascara, the Rimmel Scandalize Retro Glam Mascara, it is my life. Absolutely love it, love it, love it, love it. I would recommend everyone buy this mascara, I think it's better than anything. I actually tested it against the Max Lasting Finish Falsies or whatever it's called and it honestly has no difference whatsoever so it still remains my absolute favourite mascara. Oh, I love you Rimmel. Oh, oh, you got a little bit too cocky with the brush there, Chloe. Oh, no. No, don't make it worse. Don't make... Oh, oh, you did. Oh. Every day. Every goddamn day. Oh, well. Baby wipe to the rescue again. And just cover it over. It'll be fine. Just cover it. <laughs> and back to it. So I like to give my eyelashes a few coats and layers of mascara because, I don't know, just a habit, maybe. Just makes them look a little bit longer and a little bit thicker. And that's my lashes done. And now on to lips. I'm using the Thousand Kisses by Rimmel in, oh, I forgot what colour it was, but it's a nice brown. It came with a light pink one as well. And for the lipstick, I'm just going to be lining that on the... You line those lips, girl. Mm. Take your time. And now for lipstick, I am using Max Velvet Teddy and it's not focusing really, really helpful camera. Thank you, thank you kindly. But it is the Max Velvet Teddy which is running out fast and every time it comes into stock it's out of stock again and not many stores have it anymore so your best bet is to get it online. It is my favourite lipstick ever and it lasts all day. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it.
And that completes my makeup for the day. Round of applause, everyone. Yeah. And now I'm just going to take my tangle teaser and brush through my ever long hair, too thick for words, and completed. Woo! You pout, girl. You pout. <laughs> watching how to achieve this everyday makeup routine I don't know if I'm using all the makeup products correctly so don't start correcting me like you don't you're not using that right because whatever I'm using if I'm whatever way I'm using it I don't mind using it that way so please don't correct me um number two do not forget to leave a thumbs up because I love thumbs ups and everyone loves a good old thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe wherever the subscribe button is because it helps me out a lot. So yeah, the vel the lipstick that I use is Velvet Teddy by MAC. It wouldn't focus. I don't know if I mentioned it. Probably will mention it when I'm editing the video. But I would say grab one from MAC now because they do sell out really quickly. I had to order mine online and pay for postage. <sighs> and I hate paying for postage for things when I know that I can probably go in store. But I'm really lazy so I ordered it online. And that's pretty much it. And any more news? No. So, and I shall see you guys in the next video, wherever that may be. Bye! Bye.